Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So today we will learn one of the important topic in our Selenium and uh, this topic will help you to debug the things and to you know you can get you can increase your knowledge with that okay so what happened that uh, whenever we are going to and if I move my mouse pointer to any of the command here it always says something like that this element neither has attached source no java doc and hence no java doc can be fine I cannot see what exactly this command is doing i know that driver dot find element will find the element but what exactly code is written on the find element so there is a way for that what we can do either we can go here uh, let me go to selenium hq website okay so in selenium hq website you can go to download section in the download section we already have downloaded certain jars from here you know already about that now if you see the language which says Java 3.14 because I am using 3.14 there's a section which called Java doc right if you go to Java doc it gives you the detail of each and every command so any command which you want you can go from here for example there is an action class which we use so it has given the actions class here so you can see what exactly these commands these methods are doing you can for example is a context click method you can see from here but this is time consuming we cannot go every time to this java doc to see what my command is doing for that what we can do we can attach the java doc with our code itself and how do we do that simply do a right click properties go to your jar file so it is I'm using Selenium Server standalone. Click on this drop down. There are two options source attachment, and Java doc location. So, if you have a source for that jar file, like it would be a zip file, if you have downloaded it from somewhere or from this uh, any other website, you can click on this source attachment. But if you just want to see the Java doc, you can click the Java doc and click on edit button. Now, what you have to do, you have to just copy this. Okay, just leave the index.html. Copy this complete URL from without using index.html. Okay, let me just copy it. Okay, control C. And after that, control V. Okay, apply, apply close. That's it. Okay, now, example. Now, when you go to all these commands, see it gives in giving you the complete information even if you go to this driver.get it gives you the complete information it can even tell see what it says load a new web page in current browser okay this is done using an http get operation see guys i have explained to you many times selenium is nothing but the api and these api talks over HTTP hybrid text transfer protocol and you, it is using a get method so basically it is using the get method of HTTP when we say driver dot get so see this is the way you can increase your knowledge right so see sometimes people know what driver dot get do but if somebody tells you in an interview can you explain what driver dot get do so you can tell these additional things which you learn from here you can tell them that you know get is a method which works over http and there's a get method to open that website so these are the things which make you different from the other people because people know about the commands but sometimes they don't know what it's happening at the background so just learn about this it will give you fair enough idea how this code is working for you and it will also give you some useful information you know for example we can also use driver.navigate.2 so might be you're not aware about that few things which this which this information can tell you so why not to read it so whatever you are writing always make sure you know each and every command you should know what these commands are doing in the background if not in detail at least you should have a brief idea of how these commands are working okay fair enough now the second thing there is one more way through which we can do that we can achieve that without even attaching the java docs what we have done right now what we can do we can go to help and uh, eclipse marketplace and there you can type either decompiler okay or type jad okay java advanced decompiler all right now you can install it from here 
now you will see the magic of that i have covered this in one of my video but i just want to show you again because that was not a specific topic that i have told you in between so now the magic you will see for example it says driver.get if i do a control and put my mouse pointer here it will give me two options open declaration open implementation just click on open implementation okay now what it will do it will ask me which implementation you want to open i will click on remote web driver because i already know that my remote web driver is a parent of my chrome driver and i have explained that in many of my videos okay see so once you click on that let's click on that again okay so let me go back if you if you're thinking how i go back uh, you have to press uh, you know alt key and your arrow key you will go back okay so let me open implementation again remote web driver so it is the get command which is calling this dot execute command okay and there's a url given there if you click on this execute command again it will show you the actual coding which the selenium people has written so that this command can work for you see guys now you are looking at the actual coding which the selenium guys has given you if you see here they have given certain threads they have declared certain you know time here you can see a response object and they they are getting a response by executing a command like that so this is the same way if you remember i had there is one uh, video which i uploaded how the api works how the ass rest assured works and how this we can do a testing of the api it's the same thing you can see here we are calling these apis we are calling these through commands right so the selenium is an api and this is the actual command which the selenium guys has written if you read all these things just for your knowledge i'm not saying this is you know this is every time needed in your project no this is not needed but if you see this by your knowledge also by your curiosity also if you have some time just try to go through this command it will give you fair enough idea what your command is doing it might possible you never know you start contributing to the selenium project you start contributing because selenium is an open source right you can try to contribute to the selenium project once you understand their commands what these commands are doing internally okay so this is one but just need to you know tell you one more thing never take you know uh, you know never take this for granted because it might possible you know you you have certain jar file for example you have certain jar file in your project okay and it might possible there are some jar file of the you know framework which you are using and you are curious what the framework what the code has been written in the framework all right it might possible maybe that framework has been written by your lead by your test manager or somebody else so you are curious about that till the time you are curious that is fine till the time you are decompiling that jar file just to read what it is doing for learning purpose that is fine but never you know try to copy that code and put it into your project guys so this is this is not correct we should not copy anybody's code and we should not use anybody's code right if they have created a jar file so that's mean they don't want you know that you copy their source code you can use a jar file that is fine but you should not go ahead and copy the source code okay of their uh, of their hard work so that is a bad practice always try to avoid this in your company outside the company never copy anybody's source code and use that into your project if you want you can you know always use their jar files if they have uh, put the source code into the github and they intentionally they have put you know into the public domain so that you can copy it that is fine but never try to decompile any jar file and try to use that jar file that is not correct that's not a good practice all right so i hope this video was helpful for you so please go ahead install the compiler try to attach java docs try to see what exactly your selenium code is doing so that it can increase your knowledge okay so if you like the video please hit on the like button share with your friends if you if you think that that can help other people also and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet thank you for watching